Good morning, JD. Hey, it's hey, Monday. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's Monday and I'm alert, which isn't always the case. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> Monday and alert. Those usually don't go together. Not for me. No. Not for me. Even my coworkers noticed it. Um, you know, which, which is which is good. Um, so, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so it's been. Uh, we had an active weekend post post uh -huh. recording. Yes, yes. We got a lot of feedback from our Saturday radio show that we recorded Wednesday prior, right. and so we're we're checking in. Uh, mm -hmm. a little bit about that and just a little bit about the conversations that we had after we recorded on Wednesday too. It's amazing. You know, it was amazing because you, you posted a quote after we recorded. Um, yep. do, do you have that quote handy or I, do I need to... What I is do. It? I do because I don't have it memorized. I just came up with it and threw it out there. Um, so it says, when you tell yourself that you don't have enough time for the parts of your life that you say are important to you, Equal sign, bullshit story. <laughs> right. And there were some responses to that. Like mm -hmm. that, that clearly hit, that clearly hit some people yeah. right where it needed to. Yeah. And it hit me accordingly because you posted that. And then the next day, as I told you, this is sort of recapping it for everybody, just kind of bringing you up to speed. Mm -hmm. I reached out to you, Tani, and I said, that quote has had me unsettled all day long. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so noticing that I was unsettled mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when everything around me, you know, based on circumstances, I, I guess doesn't normally feel that way. Like, you know, and, and yet I was feeling really unsettled. So I reached out to you and I said, I'm, feeling, mm -hmm. I'm noticing I'm really unsettled about what you said, mm -hmm. right? Not because I disagree with it, but I think because I agree with it, mm -hmm. but I noticed that something underlying that I wasn't quite fitting in with that, that clearly there were some stories in there or I was not undertaking best practices to help myself do all that. So you remember I brought that to you. What was, what was your reaction when I was bringing this to you? What did you start wondering about? Mm -hmm. Well, you had, um, you were talking, I remember you talking about like you were making a list of the things that were really important to you, trying to figure out, okay, how actually do I have time for these, all these things that are really important to me? Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that the list was really creating some feelings of overwhelm or stress. I think the list itself of all the things was then yeah. reinforcing for you. Well, yes, of course I don't have time enough time for these or, or how do I then get enough time for these if I'm supposed to be able to have enough time for these? Right. Oh man, you're right. <laughs> Getting all the energy up again. Yeah, I made a list of, not, I made nine different lists on my phone mm -hmm. of these various things that I'm working on. Everything from my getting my book published to writing yeah. a sequel to mm -hmm. our book and podcast to my other my other podcast um, to work, you know, my social media presence, my my day in day out activities, and yeah, I feel like in retrospect I maxed myself out. A little stressful to have everything on a list, um, it was. And, and we keep adding to the list, and the list never goes away. It can be a little stressful. Yeah, and 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 it to me the the what it felt like was that. I was going through my day and just whenever the reminders came up of something like, oh, you haven't worked on that, right? Or you need to work on that. Mm -hmm. I would go to several places first. Oh, shit, I need to do that. And then oh, shit, beat myself up for not getting there earlier, you yep. know, and, and that I think everybody, people may react differently to those, those things. But for me, I tend to freeze and, and pack down mm -hmm. and then not know where to go. It's kind of that you know, a, a shark encountering a school of fish, right? Where does, where do you go first? And, and I just felt foggy, not just in my head, but in my body, I was tired and all of that. And so we ended up in a couple of interesting places. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Um, we wondered if you really had all the time for the things that you really wanted to do. And if everything was equal priority, we wondered about that too, right? So we, we, we wondered about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing a quick fix of, okay, just do this, 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 this with your time management process, we really sort of dug into 
um, some different parts of, of your life. And somehow we got to um, sleep. <laughs> or more accurately, my lack of adequate sleep. <laughs> yes, we did. Right. Yes, we did. And that was actually kind of, I, I felt, um, I felt like I was sharing some deep, dark secret when I told you, yeah, I don't really keep a bedtime. I don't like them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then you mentioned this thing, that that's a thing. It's starting. A, yeah. Yeah. People are identifying this thing as sort of this revenge sleeping practice thing right? Where we want to stay up late so that that's the period of time where we feel like we have some kind of power in our day. We're doing all our responsibilities and obligations and all the things that we do in a day, running from this, that, to that over there, kind of like what you were talking about. Oh, shit, I didn't do this or I should do this, mm -hmm. right? And so we're just on automatic pilot running from thing to thing to thing to thing. So then when the house becomes quiet and maybe everybody else has gone to bed, that's our time to stay up and do whatever we want. Uh-huh. And get over on the rest of the world, right? You're all playing by the rules. We finally have power. I'm not playing. Well, and that that was sobering mm -hmm. to hear you say. So yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. But then we sacrifice our sleep. And then we're waking up foggy headed tired, shooting ourselves again, beating ourselves up in a rat race, maybe because we're behind the eight ball and feeling like we're continuing to be behind the eight ball because we're getting our power right before we go to bed or not going to bed so that we can have it instead right. of really finding ways to be empowered in our day. Yeah. Without it having to be just a litany of lists mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right because then that was the flip side i was like oh man okay that's a thing and i had this experience not just in my mind but in my body of just relief do you remember how tired i got mm -hmm. when we were oh, talking yeah. about this <laughs> I got so tired. Like, it was like it was like if it, it was like my body saying finally you're admitting this or finally somebody's pointing this out to you you're letting somebody see it and um, but I didn't really know what to do as far as I said, okay, so I really need to take better care of my sleep. And of course, more and more studies are coming out that show that sleep is just as important, if not more than diet and exercise, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty good on diet. I've been pretty good on exercise. This seemed like here's the third component of that to add in. So mm -hmm. all well and good. And I've done four nights now where I've gotten at least seven hours of sleep and I've had a bedtime routine. And that is a massive accomplishment for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. massive massive and i feel good and i all those things that i described that i was feeling then i don't feel now i don't feel foggy in my head or in my body i don't feel overwhelmed by the things i have to do mm -hmm. but then it was like okay so i need to do more sleep but then how do i then once hopefully have more reserves for the day how do i track or get done or work through move through mm -hmm. my day and that was the second piece that yeah. I've been noticing is I had no idea how to do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then I went on my soapbox of list making. <laughs> I didn't go too hard on it, but I went on it, right? It, what happens is if we're list makers, we just tend to keep, the list is never done, right? So we add things and we continue to add things thinking we're going to get this done. We put way too much on the list half the time, things mm -hmm. we don't even need to remember because they're already in our day anyway. Mm -hmm. And then we keep, we keep at, so visually then we're looking at this list and, and just looking at the list, create some stress and anxiety in our body because our body probably knows when we're going to get through it. Our head thinks, oh, I can do this, right? Your body's like, right. Um, and so there's some internal conflict and some anxiety right there with yeah. that. So we decided to try something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, you had mentioned something really important. And oftentimes, I think when we talk about not having enough time, what we actually mean is we don't have enough energy. Mm -hmm. There's only so much energy something can be given. And for whatever reason, that distinction really helped me. Mm -hmm. Because if it's about energy and I'm taking better care of myself sleep-wise, food-wise, exercise-wise, mm -hmm. noticing-wise, <laughs> you know, maybe my energy reserves will be a little bit higher right? mm -hmm. and do that. But 
but also the the list thing for me it is draining and trying to keep track of all of them and and mm -hmm. and so we tried something different you had me put and i'll i'll send a picture mm -hmm. to you that you can that you can post so people can see it i i took one of those big um post-it note things like they mm -hmm. can fit on the back of the door it's on the back of my door and instead of lists i made bubbles of the of those things like that that list that i put on my phone i got rid of that mm -hmm. and put the topics on my thing and so i've got publishing my book work my job mm -hmm. my other writing projects each one of these is a bubble mm -hmm. uh all the stuff for breaking up with our bullshit mm -hmm. um my other show this show is all about you uh my financial work situation social media presence and all that and then my activities like mm -hmm. you know hobbies exercise all yeah. those so mm -hmm. one two three four five six seven there's eight of them on this sheet and they're all separate um and then i put little post-it notes of specifics mm -hmm. on each one and there's probably one two three four five six seven. looks like there's about 17 or 18 post-it notes total Mm -hmm. And I noticed like in publishing, there's not as many as I thought. There's only two that are really huge right now. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden I went, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. My writing projects, I have a number of them, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. They can kind of just exist there. Um, and all of a sudden, just a quick visual reference is so much easier. Yeah. And in the last four days, I've been more productive in those areas because I'm not I'm just going with what's coming. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I worked on the introduction to breaking up with our bullshit book. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, a query I'm writing to uh, put out to a potential publisher for my novel. That's what made the most sense. That's where my energy felt mm -hmm. like to be best used. And yeah. then I moved on last night to preparing for today's, uh, my, my solo show yep. mm -hmm. later today, because that felt like the next step to take. None of this now feels like a massive list or a to do or mm -hmm. anything. It's just there. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah. so awesome. much simpler. So you didn't have to shit on yourself these no. last four days. You got a, a more some more consistent sleep so that you were ready to notice your energy levels. You were able to put energy levels to the areas of your life that made the most sense given what was happening in the day. And you're starting out a Monday feeling, what was the word you used earlier when we first, what was the word you used about Monday? Um, anyway, whatever. I can't remember, who knows, but we're in a we're, different we're moment. We're in the moment. We're in the moment, right? So I think we've got to close it up at this point, but I just wanted to recap, like you're starting your Monday feeling not behind the eight ball. Yeah, not That's behind awesome. the eight ball. And just noticing it coming right from that quote, and then just noticing that it was that I could feel it in my body. Mm -hmm. And I knew something wasn't where I wanted it to be, and something was asking to be shifted. And so, yeah, it's pretty good. So that has a lot to that suggests a lot about things like goals and purpose, and doesn't that? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we might talk more about that. I wonder if those are coming. We'll see. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Good to see you. Yep. See ya. Okay.